So as you'd expect, at eight o'clock in the morning, I'm back in the prison. Um, it feels dark out there, but it's not dark in here, as you'll see now, I'll go through. It's not too bad, because obviously the big atrium again, the light comes through. Ping pong set up for tonight, foosball set up for tonight. I tell you what, it does look, architecturally speaking, forget about what it was used for for a second. It looks amazing, let me show you down here. Like just the actual building itself is, it's really something quite special. I can't, this will sound weird now, but I can't actually put it into exact words because it is just, I know there's a lot of fencing and this just doesn't do it justice, but it is an amazing building. Like it truly is. Let's see, have a look at it from the other end. You're gonna be watching this going, what the fuck, Joel? This shit video. But I'm telling you, unless you like The thing is, right, that people come and visit here and they see it at the time they come and visit, whether it's a night time for a music event, we've got one tonight, by the way, um, free entry, seven o'clock, uh, so that'd be great. Um, if you're coming to one of our, like, prison escape events, if you come on a tour, if you come on a, uh, a um, self-go tour, you go to the play center, on a corporate day, whatever it is that you come here for, you see it, like, during a time, hello, you see it during a time period, um, I see it, throughout all of them. I don't think there's an hour of the day I've not seen this building and it changes so much. In an hour, this is going to be so bright, it will feel so different. Um, but yeah, two hours ago, this would be pitch black and really eerie and really creepy. And there's a window open somewhere because there's a massive draft and that's what that banging is because you can hear it. Well, you won't be able to, but I can hear it. And it's the sort of thing that people say, oh, it's paranormal activity because I can hear a couple of windows banging and a couple of doors banging, a couple of the metal ones, because they sound different to the wooden doors, and you, you learn that. Like, I shall show you, in case you're interested. This is what a metal door slamming sounds like. It's metal banging against metal. This is what a wooden door sounds like. See, it's much, much thud, thuddier. Um, the wooden doors do not move by themselves. Um, they're just too heavy in the sense of if a wooden door slams shut on you, it's not the wind. They're just too bloody heavy for the wind to move them. Um, they're solid oak. They're like three inch solid oak, so they don't move by themselves. Um, they're yeah, 140 years old, these doors. Um, the metal doors do, and I can feel right now in this wing somewhere, there's a window open, which is why we get a huge draft coming through. Um, it's not a ghost, it's just a huge draft. And, oh, it's not a window, it's a door. The door is open. Um, so we close the door. And we lose the draft. But that's not to say that there aren't things here. Because last night, in the room down in the kitchen where I'm going right now, if you're still with us, great, if you've, if you've headed off and fine, don't worry. Um, but yeah, down here in the kitchen, which I was painting, there is a room that is off the back of the kitchen that is definitely, definitely got something in it. And I'm not even 100% convinced it's something nice. Um, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Maybe we'll investigate that at another point. Um, so yeah, if you're coming tonight, great, I'll see you later. If not, then hopefully we'll see you soon. Um, if you haven't been and you're not planning on coming, then I'll never see you. Um, and if you have been, you're coming back, or you have been, you're not coming, then I hope you had a good time. And yeah, keep watching the videos. Subscribe, stuff like that.